crypto is moving down right now. And I'm going to give you the exact reason that it is something you need to know to protect yourself, to be aware of what's going on in the crypto market. Thank you for your support. Subscribe button, hit that button down below. Please drop a like, tell the algorithm we're here. This is important. Please stick with me to the end because I got a lot to tell you about how this is going to impact you and every single coin token you own. Let's get into this. Okay. So right now, crypto is moving down uh, pretty dramatically. In fact, literally about a minute ago before I pushed this record button, it was 2.17 and it's jumped almost an additional point down uh, in, in this period of about two minutes. Okay. And so right now, 1.06, you can see that everything is kind of bloody, if you will, red, the sea of red. There's a nice metaphor visual for you. Bitcoin down three, Ethereum down three. Everything is moving down. Cardano's down almost 5%, Polygon over five. Uh, Solana, Polkadot down seven, SHIB down almost four, and it just continues Avalanche down seven. Okay, so why? What is going on? Well, it is it is that centerpiece key narrative that we've talked about in a lot of my videos, inflation, okay? And so I want to continue to, to stress here that if you're not paying attention to the inflation scenario and the reports that come in on a monthly basis, you know, the, the, the CPI, the PCE that we're about to go look at, these are different reports. The jobs report, number one, you can subscribe to this channel because I cover all that for you so that you're aware of what's going on so that you understand that at a macro level, meaning bigger than, than Bitcoin or Ethereum, but more at a kind of a, an overall crypto view, but also factoring in stock view and kind of the inflation side of the, of the house. That's the macro view, those bigger picture scenarios you need to be aware of because they do impact you and all of the crypto that you own. Here's what's going on. Take a look at this. So, so stocks slide after hotter than expected key inflation print. Now, I said stocks, but you can put, you could, you could take that word out and put crypto in and it's the same scenario. Let me show you what's going on in the stock market as of the recording of this video. You can see that it is down. Uh, over 400 points on the Dow and the NASDAQ's down 200. Now, if you don't own stocks, that's fine. I'm just trying to show you that you understand this is the a macro big in, uh, influencer or impact point. Inflation does dramatically impact crypto. It was inflation that crushed crypto in 2022. It took us from north of a two and a half trillion with a T trillion dollar market cap down to down to about 700 billion. So that it was inflation and all that and, and all of that and that you know that did that right okay so here's what happened so the PCE report which uh, is this right here hot PC index uh, hits tech stocks like Apple etc okay so by the way this this report is one of the Fed's preferred inflation reports it's one of the key ones that they look at the PCE just came out okay so let me show you this real quickly. Uh, moving down here, do, 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 do. so the PCE stands for the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index. Say that really fast a bunch of times. Okay, so this is the Fed's preferred assessment of how quickly prices are rising across the economy. Okay, so this report that just came in today showed that it rose 0.6% in January and 5.4% from last year on a quote core basis, which strips out food and energy components, prices rose 0.6 for the month and 4.7 from the last year. Okay. So this report showed that consumer spending rose 1.8% from December after following the previous month. Here's the key. So this, all of these numbers right here, okay, support Recent indications inflation is not falling at the pace and extent investors have been hoping for, even as prices have stabilized from the peaks of the current inflation cycle. Okay, so here's what this really means. We had a we had a jobs report that showed jobs growth that came out at the beginning of February. Massive surprise there. We were expecting, I think, like 180,000 or so jobs growth. We got 577,000. Those are not the exact numbers, but that's ballpark where we're at. The C, so that's, you know, and the Fed really looks at the job reports. Okay. Then we have the CPI, the Consumer Price Index Report, which is another inflation report that came out a week or two ago. And it showed uh, not as aggressive of a move down as we would want. Now we have 
this report, the PCE price index report coming out, and it's showing again that inflation is not falling at the pace and extent investors have been hoping for. All of this is setting a stage for uncertainty around what is going to happen or not going to happen with inflation. And it shows that inflation is not weakening, lessening, going away as fast as we would want it to, which sets the stage for the mid-March FOMC Federal Reserve meeting where they will meet again to determine if they're going to raise the rates. Now, the, the, the scenario here is that how much are they going to raise? We, we're expecting that we're, we're expecting a 25 basis points. Now it could be more aggressive. We could see a 50 basis points rise in that mid-March meeting, right? So we have a lot of uncertainty because we had the jobs report. We had the CPI report. Now we have the PCE report, okay? All three of which are showing that, that inflation is not going away, which paints the picture for the scenario that we're dealing with right here of why crypto is down. And you can see that even while I was recording, look, it went from a 2.94 to a 3.13. So in the span of about five minutes, we have gone down an additional percentage point just while I was recording this video. Okay. That's what's going on with crypto. You needed to be aware of what is happening so that again, so that you can, you know, know what, know what to do or not do. Here's the thing. I'm not selling anything. I'm here. You know, this is kind of one of the, this is what it is scenario. This is, this is so to me, I'm not like, oh my God, the, you know, the boat is on fire in the middle of the ocean and I better jump off the boat into the ocean. That's just the metaphor that comes to mind for me. I'm not making any changes. I'm just simply giving you the facts and I'm going to ride this out. And I'm going to take this also as an opportunity to do what? To look at finding some deals. Okay. So on another note around that, I am starting a brand new deal for my Patreon links in the description below starting at the beginning of March, but I may actually go, go ahead and be buying some of these sooner rather than later on this dip, right? I'm going to put together different portfolios, like an AI crypto portfolio, blue chip portfolio, um, you know, metaverse, uh, DeFi, things of that nature. These are different portfolios and I'm going to put up my own money and I'm going to basically show people and teach people how to, you know, build a diversified portfolio, how to do long-term trading or long-term investing, uh, you know, opening up long positions as well as maybe some swing trades using some indicators, things of that nature. So if you're interested in that, that's something I'm doing for my, for my Patreon links in the description below. And it's the $20 option you'll see when you get to that page. If you're interested in joining that, you can join and cancel anytime. So that's something I am, I am considering doing, not not considering I am going to do uh, very, very quickly here. I'll see you. Links in the description below to all things. Have a good one. Go make some money. This is an opportunity to buy stuff cheap. See you. Bye.